I carried out an experiment on salicylic acid because I wanted to know the best solvent that I would use to dissolve salicylic acid completely and I also wanted to know how fast a solvent could dissolve salicylic acid. So I found out that some didn't completely dissolve in my experiment while some completely dissolved and saved up time. So if salicylic acid is, is giving you um, a tough time dissolving, this video would be helpful. Please pay less attention to my hand chain. I should have removed it but because I was in a hurry, I didn't pay attention to it. And if you notice very well, I just used one hand in this video. So let's go straight to our experiment. Here I have two beakers and into these two beakers, I'll be measuring up 5 grams of salicylic acid each in the beakers respectively. Salicylic acid is a BHA for those of you who might be wondering what it is and what it is used for. It's a BHA, a beta hydroxyl acid, and like the alpha hydroxyl acid, it's an exfoliant on the skin and it helps to get rid of dead cell on the layer of the skin, um, revealing new ones and um, making the skin smooth. But um, unlike the age is BHA, like um, salicylic acid, will actually go deep down into the pores to help get rid of deaths in the pores, help, rid of, get, help get rid of sebum, help to minimize pores, help to minimize oil, um, oil production, totally eradicate blackheads and whiteheads. And this will help to actually minimize or eradicate pimple and acne. And this is a very important ingredient in acne and pimple products, be it cream, soap, and what have you. But note that it must be used in an appropriate quantity because it's actually considered as a drug and in some countries it cannot be sold to just an ordinary person except you're a pharmacist, chemist or a medical personnel. Okay, so in our measured up salicylic acid of 5 grams each on a beaker, I'm going to be transferring um, about 15 to 18 grams of propendiol 1,3 in one beaker. And in the other beaker, the same gram of propylene glycol. In order to identify them, I'm going to use a black masking tape on the beaker for propylene the one three, and on the other hand, I'm going to be using a paper masking tape for um, the beaker containing propylene glycol. I'm just going to stir the solution, and then I'll leave it for ten minutes. So after 10 minutes, I'm going to measure up another 5 grams of salicylic acid. This time, I'm going to be introducing a porcelain mortar. Here, I'm going to crush my salicylic acid in a porcelain mortar till it's a fine powder. Remember that salicylic acid comes in crystals, so I'm going to crush it till it becomes a fine powder. When doing this, ensure that you are with your gloves on and with your marks on because it may actually, as you grind in the crystals, you would inhale the smell and it may not be good for you. So make sure that you are maxed up. So after grinding the crystals into a fine powder, I'll be going in with propylene glycol, about 15 to 80 grams as well, just like the other solutions. I stirred gently and as you can see, the solution is already cloudy with no crystals. Note that I did this 10 minutes after I prepared the solutions in the smaller beakers. So after 15 minutes again, I've come back to check my solutions. Um, um, this is my solution of um, 
salicylic acid with propylene glycol and you, as you can see there are still crystals in it yet to be dissolved this is a solution of salicylic acid with propylene diol 1,3 and as you can see there are still crystals and this is a grounded prop, um, salicylic acid with propylene glycol and as you can see the crystals are very little and this is almost dissolved I also have another beaker containing propane that one three with a, a, a powdered salicylic acid. So these are a range of solutions I carried out in another experiment. Four of these beakers, two containing fine and crystal salicylic acid in propane that all one three respectively, and the other two containing fine and crystal salicylic acid in in propylene glycol. The first beaker here contains propylene glycol with, with salicylic acid. The second beaker contains propylene glycol with salicylic acid that is fine. This one contains... This shows that propane that one three will take longer than propylene glycol and here is pro propane that one three in fine um, salicylic acid the one that was crushed with a mortar so it actually dissolved fully but it took a lot of time so these are a range of them and from this experiment it is it is clearly deduced that propylene glycol dissolves salicylic acid more and saves more time but to, to hasten the time, you have to crush your salicylic acid in your porcelain mortar. Now, imagine that you are using salicylic acid for commercial use and you have to dissolve all of it. It's really, really quicker when you use your porcelain mortar to crush your salicylic acid and then before you go in to dissolve with your propylene glycol. With this experiment and several other experiments that I have carried out, I found out that propylene glycol is excellent for dissolving salicylic acid so like i said in the experiment always crush your salicylic acid but make sure that you're well protected your hands and your nose before you crush them because salicylic acid is a drug and it may not be healthy for you to just continue inhaling it i'll be dropping some videos of recipes containing salicylic acid so i thought it wise to share this video with you so that it will not be hard for you to dissolve yours when the time comes I hope that this video is helpful to you and if you find it helpful please do give this video a thumb up do well to subscribe and thank you so much for stepping by to watch this video i always appreciate you all please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you can turn the notification bell so you can always get our post when they are uploaded i love to see you in my next video thank you always and goodbye